It's your boy Frank Gore on BTM Podcast. Had a great time with the fellas talking about my football career, also my boxing career. I appreciate y'all. Let's go behind the mask. Man, what up? What's happening? Welcome back. Man, we about to bring on this fire guest. I am your host, Takeo Spikes, alongside your favorite plus size model, Two Tone Ray. It's in the building. Plus size model. What up, though? Listen, man, we got a special guest today, bro. Oh, yeah, most deaf, most deaf. Well, without further ado, we got to bring him on in. Listen, this guy hails from the great city of Miami, mm-hmm. five time pro bowler, all pro, NFL all decades team, too. Kill the award winning of the Art Rooney Award. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. BCS national champion, mm-hmm. and he also went to the school that we all know as the U. Man, y'all give it up for my dog, Frank Gore. <sighs> what up, what's up? Dog? Frankie G. What's up, my dog? Just chilling, man. Yeah, Just man. Chilling. Yeah, I appreciate you taking time out of day. I know you got a lot going on. Um, the the I think the big thing is. Word on the street, everybody know you down there training that sweat box, bro. So you, you you getting it in and getting ready for the fight, which we gonna get to that though, man. But how you doing, man? I'm doing great, man. Just enjoying life, man, and enjoying the kids and I've been blessed, right, man. I'm not gonna even lie, I've been blessed. I'm having a good time, man. Being a dad now, you know, getting up in the morning, taking the kids to school, um, traveling, um, see my older son play college ball, and I've been I'm being real, I've been enjoying enjoying life, man. Mm-hmm. Dope, man. Dope, man. Well, you know, we got to give you your flowers, bro. Obviously, one of the more prolific running backs in the game in the NFL. Transitioning careers, and we definitely going to get into that. But we're going to start off the show, the Behind the Mask podcast, with a little segment we do called This or That. Basically, you got to choose one or the other. You know what I'm saying? We get letting the people, letting the audience know about Frank Gore. So we're going to start it like this. Your rookie year into the league, Frank Gore getting ready to get out there and do his thing. You listen to see your music get hyped before the game. Who is Frank Gore listening to, Rick Ross or Trick Daddy? Mm. Oh, man. Uh. <laughs> I'm listening to both, man. Well, which I... one is coming first? <laughs> That's what I knew you was going to say that. It depends. You know, who got the, the music, who got the song that gave me real hype at the time, you know, uh, for the game. So, but, you know, both of my boys, man, um, you know, both of my rep, 305 the right way. Um, I respect both of them. And, um, I, I can't pick one, but whoever got the hardest song at the time and who get me ready for the game, that's who I play first. All right. I, I get it. I run get it. it. We run with it. Yeah, I'm going to run with it. Well, let me run with this one too, though. Right, right. right. Prolific football career. Yeah. Accomplished a lot. Still got the opportunity to come back and play. I do believe so. But what I want to know, which training is tougher, the boxing or just the football training? Nah, I, I gotta go with Boston, man. Boston. What? Yeah, Boston. You know, and this, this I, I always did Boston, but this is the first time I'm training for a fight. Hey, Spice, it's different, bro. You know, we, we you got you got the you know football. We've been doing that our whole life, so you know, um, you know, I'm used to sprinting. But you got to jog four to five miles, man, like every other day. Man, yeah. that's, that's tough, man. You know, with football, you don't have to jog. You know, um, and I hate jogging because it's boring. <laughs> <laughs> Four to five. Well, then, then you gotta understand this though. Like, yeah, one round you going three minutes. Yeah, three minutes. Then you get thirty seconds off. You know, and and when you training for football, we go what sixty. As long as we go what a hundred, a hundred what forty five second rest. Second. So yeah. you know, it's different, man. It's different. But I, re- you know, I respect this sport, Boston. I always, you know. I always enjoyed it because I always used to do hit the miss um, since probably 2005. Um, you know, but this is the first time, Spice. This, this getting ready for a fight, tough, man. I, my my first week, I'm like, what the fuck I got myself into? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But, you know, I, I, you know, you know your boy will be ready December 18th, though. No doubt. No doubt, no doubt. So check this out, man. Um, where you at right now, obviously, uh, amassed a lot of wealth in your career, got the knowledge, you know, being in the league so long. So, this or that, would you keep your wealth and your knowledge and travel 20 years forward or not have that wealth and knowledge 
and redo it all, travel 20 years back? No, I would go for it. Mm. You know, I'll keep Cause man, like what what I know now and what I you know um what I know now and what I been through and you know knowing that that I can you know uh, go like um overcome everything you know what I'm saying I, yeah. and what I've been through you know um you know I won't even doubt doubt nothing you know so. No, I keep I go I go for it, you know. Sure. Nah, that's that's it's real. Hey, that's a real life, bro. Yeah. Cause most most people say they're gonna go back and do it over. He like, nah, I got this knowledge, you know what I'm saying, overcame adversity and everything. Yeah. So for sure, salute. Hey dog, hey, let's go back to we gotta go back to the days at the U. And huh? you know, a lot of people forget about this, but you were in the same backfield with Clinton Portis. And also Willis McGahee. Like and Najee too now. And Najee. Najee. Too. Yeah, I, yeah, forgot yeah, yeah. Najee. Yeah. God, I forgot about Najee. I forgot about Najee. Pay was pay was a good back too. Pay was yep. yeah. pay was there. Yeah. Like dog, so for me, dog, like I'm just to me, I know all of y'all with the exception of two. Like that right. room had to be competitive, man. Like, what was the competition like? What was the conversation like, bro? I know y'all talk real greasy to each other. No, nah, we all respected each other, but we knew that everybody could play ball. So we knew what type of coach we had. You had to do it. When you got a bunch of guys in the room, you got to do everything right. And that's just not on the football field. Um, it had to, We had to go to class. You know, um, we had to work out. We couldn't be late to nothing. And, mm. and it was, you know, and I'm not going to lie, man. I tell Portis, I tell McGahee, I tell Najee. Um, me being around them in college made me who the man I am, and you know, in the NFL. Wow! And so I respect, I, respect, I respect them boys, man, because you know how it is, Spikes. Every year they bring someone in the league, you know, to replace you at your position. And every year I was in the as a Niner, a new guy came in, but I didn't give a fuck really, mm. because I know what I I can do, you know. Um, especially, you know, me being the youngest, the youngest out of all them guys, Porter's, McGahee. You know, I felt like if they can do it when they went to the league, I knew I was gonna be able to do it. So that's why I was I take my hats off to them boys. For sure. And we had CP on the Behind the Mass podcast too. He said the same thing. He was just like the competition bred greatness. You know what I'm saying? Cause it was like ah, he know he couldn't slack because he had Will behind him. You know what I'm saying? No, he, he couldn't slack because Will wasn't on his job that day and you was right there. You know what I'm saying? So it was yeah. such a, a dope feeling. Like I we had a couple of cats that went to the league when you know when I played O line, but Nothing like what we saw, you know, from, with you from guys Miami. from from Miami. Nothing like that. So again, salute, bro. That's that's major right there, man. For real. So 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 spikes. You played with both of us, right? You played with McGee. Yep. And you played with me. So I'm gonna ask yep. you a question. All right. <laughs> well, come on with it then. See. So, who you thought was the realest one out of both of us? Ooh. <laughs> I would say. Um. I would say you, um, and and listen to my explanation. I, when I played with Willis, you remember we drafted Willis right after coming off coming off knee injury, coming yeah, off yeah. the knee injury. Yeah, yeah. And and so I mean, obviously, you you don't even have. To, I can look back and just see everything. But when when we got Willis, you I'm gonna say you. However, also when we got Willis, he was hurt. Right, and right. then while he was hurt, I'll be honest with you. I was like, man, I don't even know if this dude don't be able to come back and play. Yeah, yeah. It was, it, was it was a bad injury. Yeah, like it was horrible. But, yeah. dog, but to your point, like how competitive that room was, man, I just saw this dude put his head down and go to work, bro. And right, so, right. I, you know, it's – it's uh it's remarkable, man. It's remarkable to be able to do that and leave that trend setting back and everybody's able to compete against each other, bro. For real. I appreciate it. Hey, but no, but I want to know what was the difference between both of us, you would say. Uh I, I think we both were talented. You know, we, you know, um, that's my brother. I'm just I just want to know I'm asking you because you know, you're a linebacker, you as a dog, you had to practice against us, you know, you know, you know me, you know him. But what was the difference? You know, of our game 
or our style, just period. Like what you knew on Sunday. It was what you knew about Sundays, uh, Willis McGahey, and what you knew about me on Sundays. Um, it was it, the thing about you. You were uh, you were very shifty, and it was to the point to where if you supposed to had a gap, like the scouting report was like, I don't give a shit if he's all the way on the front side. <laughs> you keep your black ass back on the back side because he will find it. So it's more of a compliment to your vision. Right, right. Your vision and then by being able to, to get through the holes, the second thing was the explosiveness of not being able to go down from an arm tackle. Right, right. Like that was, that was huge. And then obviously the breakaway speed. I think with Willis. Um, I think I think Willis had more long speed. Yeah. yeah. You know like Willis was naturally what well, people didn't know. This dude had breakaway speed, right. but he had like a hundred meter speed. Yep, like he yep. ran a hundred meters. Mm -hmm. As the more as he continued to go, the faster he got, and it was very obvious. Mm -hmm. you know, Am I right? Yeah, you're right. He went. He went to state uh, in high school in the hundreds in Florida. Uh, that's big. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah, um, y'all be having all that heat coming. Y'all be having <laughs> damn high schoolers. Two hey, times order hey. on track. No high school man. man. Y'all had them folk coming down there running ten three, ten twos in high school, man. So I'm, I'm gonna tell you a story when I um when Spice first came to our team, right? So you know, I, I was I was young, right? You know, I I was young, so I I I, and I remember Spice, you know, in Auburn, and you know when he got drafted. So I'm looking at him, you know, on Sundays like doing the interview, big ass neck. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I know he was physical, so I'm like, bro. I mean, he came out. We he came to training camp, right? Like what a week a week later or something like that, right? Yeah, I came late. So I'm like, oh shit, he come out there, bro. You know, he was older than me. He older than me, so I'm like, oh shit, he come out there late to the practice, right? I guess <laughs> we he, he signed him, bro. This motherfucker come out high white socks, thick <laughs> old, you know, some old spike Nike um, cleats. I said, oh, I told our fool, I said, oh, I'm Moran, bro. Your ass better be ready. This motherfucker, <laughs> this Moran motherfucker come downhill, boy. And you know, at the time, Spice Boy, like I tell people, it was like the NFL, we was physical, bro. Practice. Yeah. Yeah. Practice and everything. But Between man, the hey, tackles. Yo, I, I was, hey, Spice, I'm going to be real, man. I, was, I enjoy playing with you, man. You taught me, you was a very smart player. That's one thing. That's why I tell people, man, as you get older, you got yeah. to be smart. You got to be a football player. So I used to be like, damn, Spice, I can get Pat on this. Well, I can't. Why I can't get you? Oh, I, you know, I'm I'm, I'm taking away this. I'm you know just because the knowledge you had, mm -hmm. and you know I, I when I when I when I as I got older, I always I always remember you told me you got to take you got to remember details of everything, and that's what I did. That's why to, uh, one of the reasons I, I played a long time though, bro. And I appreciate that, man. Oh man, bro, I appreciate that. Hey. I, I thought he was gonna give you another story. Yeah, but yeah, I, I, I don't for that one, you, you ever shook him? You ever you ever met him in a hole and shook him, break him down, man? Cause you know he used to wear them high top cleats in there. Yeah, room, bro. bro. I'm talking about, I'm like, damn, this motherfucker old school for real, bro. <laughs> bro. I had them sharks. Hey, Frank, I had them sharks. Yeah, sharks. Bro. I ain't had them screwing. Hey, I was like, no, man, yeah, he had to be shark, like no like, check like, out like, heels like, on my heels like, on my feet, huh? Like the part one of cleats, bro. <laughs> right. I was like, okay, apex. Boy, I was like, boy, we got. I said, boy, we better be ready today, boy. Hey, oh, wait. Like, one thing about Spice, what I liked when we practice, though, he knew how to practice, man. He knew like, I'm gonna do my thing. I'm trying to get the Sunday, and I was like, okay, I'm cool with that, bro. I'm cool yeah. with that. But hey, when it's go time, oh shit, boy, him, him, and our fullbacks to go at it, boy. Yeah, me and Moran, Moran Norris. Norris. We used to have some <laughs> battles, dog. Like I, yeah, yeah. I used to didn't like Moran. We, Mo, you know we don't talk. I t Mo I always talk about he beat me up in a game. I'm like Mo, you know I jumped on you first. <laughs> he did. I, I, I squeezed through the hole on the lead, got tripped up on the lineman's foot. Then he don't try to jump on me, and I was like, oh hell no, Moran. I just went at him, dog. <laughs> but from that day, man. That was cool. Oh, yeah. he yeah. was like been yeah, one yeah. of my best friends just because, yep, yep. like, I was trying to take his soul, and Moran wouldn't quit, and he kept coming, and I was like, I like it, so I kept coming hey, at him, game, Frank. Hey, hey, after the game, you got to go up to them type of guys, right? Yeah, you got to go up. Yeah. Like, hey, bro, I respect that, man. 
Yeah, sure. man. But, hey, the Spike was a big name, boy. And he, you know, he he brung that thing, boy. He brung it. Okay. Hey, Spike, I'm being real. The last six years, bro, it ain't it ain't linebackers out there like like that no more, man. The game don't change, 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 bro. Mm. Like, I know man, that, bro. If we, if we came back in this era, but oh man, we'll be we'll boy, we play this era, we'll be great at, at coming in 21, 22. Oh man. Man. We probably would have played with our mindset, but we probably would have played 20, 21 years, bro. Yeah. Easy. We would have got 20 years. Yeah, yeah. How many do you get yeah. now? What, 16? I got 16. Yeah, 16. Yeah, yeah. I got 15. Now, I could I could have played, I could have played this year. I just we thought I, so. We 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 were sitting there like yo. I, I, I had I had like three teams called, man. I just mm -hmm. wanted at the time, bro. What helped me, man, when I didn't go to training camp and I'm taking the kids to school and going to my son practice and got the opportunity. To go to my older son um college game and my stepson college game and I just started enjoying life and I saw how much how much time I missed, bro. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And it, like the week a team it was one it was one team I don't want to put they put the team out there. They called me like a week like after training camp. And I already had like something set up like with the family to go see my stepson play his first college game and bro. You know, it was a good situation, Spice. I'm very. It was good, but when I set the when I set the vacation up to go see my son play and all, all me and my kids and we already had the like flights and stuff booked and everything. And they called. And they wanted me to come up that same day, bro. And when I had the doubt about football, like should I do it or not, that's when I was like, you know what, I ain't I ain't ready to go right now. You know what I'm saying? And I then they called back on, when I got home. They called me that Monday. They called me that Monday to come up there that Monday, man. And you no, know, I had so much time. I had so much fun, you know, at, at Wisconsin, man. And you know, after the game, you know, my stepson happy, and you know, you know, and I and I have I didn't get that that feeling like being around my kids and my girl so long, man. And like to get that feeling, man, and to see how much I miss that. Like when I didn't go to camp, bro, I was like, you know what? I told him I was good, bro. And and man, I've been. I've been, man, I've been enjoying life, dog. And I'm not going to lie, Spice. And you probably had the same feeling. When it get close to the end, bro, you get scared. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying scared like, you know, what you going to do? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I've been playing football since three, four years old, bro. When we've been on the schedule, like our whole life. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Bro, I, every year, like that year get closer and closer. I'm like, oh, like, damn, I'm, I was like, like scared, bro. And man, and when I didn't go to camp, and I was enjoying the kids and the fam, bro. I was like, bro, I was so dog. I was, I was very happy, bro. Cause I, me, you know me, Spice. I love the game of football. Yeah, and you, you won't know, sit you down. Know. You won't even let the grass grow up under your feet. You always <laughs> feel like you gotta be working, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You know, like, bro, like when I, when I, when I, when, when, when I didn't go to camp and I was enjoying the fam, man, and. When the team called, when I when I told them I was good, though I felt so I was so proud of myself, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And and I'm not yeah. gonna lie, bro. I, I I know it's still early, but I don't miss it at all, bro. I mean, and, I, and I'm still shocking at myself. I'm still shocked because I know you know how much I love the game, bro. And you know, Spice like coming up the way we come up, you know, neighborhood man. That's that's the way we get out, you know, to support our family, man. Yeah. And, mm -hmm. But man, I've been blessed, bro. I've been enjoying life, man. Um, you know, I'm excited. December 18th, you know, with this Boston thing, man. You know, win, lose, the draw. This is what I wanted to do, you know. So, and man, I've been, I've been enjoying life, my dog. For sure, for sure, man. You talk about being great. We would have been great in this era, but don't, don't, don't sleep, man. That's what I said. We gotta just salute every time we have the opportunity to. You know what I mean? But with you, 16 thousand rushing yards in your career bro mm -hmm. that 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 i don't think people understand what that means right so for conditioning we run 110s up and down the field that's the equivalent of you going up 160 times without getting tackled 160 times in your career not many running backs have done that only two ahead of you walter payton emmy smith did you ever think being the top three running back you know what i got a little bit left i can catch a walter payton one of the greatest of all times man i never I never did it, you know, for that. You know, when you play the game, you know, you you want to have, like, individual goals. You have that. Um, but I never thought about me being top five, top number one. 
you know, at, at running back, you know, with, uh, with numbers. Um, so when I did get up there, you know, it crossed your mind. But, man, your main thing, bro, you, you want to win a championship, dog. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, and that was the thought process back then. That right. Early. Right. So it's like, like we, I got a chance to, 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 to get to the Super Bowl. We didn't win. So I went to Indy. I thought, you know, at the time, Indy was popping. Um, you know, I thought, I thought, you know, I'd get a chance to go at Indy. It didn't happen. Okay. Then I come home. I come home to the Dolphins. I enjoy, you know, I get to play in, my, in front of my, 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 my fans. I get to go home to my, my, my lady and my kids. Um, that was a blessing. Um, I go to Buffalo. Um, we go to the playoffs. They haven't gone to the playoffs in some years. So that was, that was a good time in Buffalo. Um, I go to New York. You know, it was, it was it was tough, man. But, you know, I will say it was a lot of good young men there who worked their behind off. Um, but, you know, I felt like if I can go to a team, bro, who didn't have a chance, and I want I didn't just want to do it just because of y'all, bro. So yeah. that's real. Like I even though I don't care, but you 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 listen to everything like the doubters. Yeah. Oh, he played, he been he got the yards because he played 16 years, like this and that. You know, I, even though I don't give a fuck, they really don't know me. You know what I'm saying? Right. <laughs> but you still listen to it, you know, and I'm like, bro. And then when I didn't go to camp, I'm with the kids. And I start like enjoying going to see my older son, my stepson play ball. Mm-hmm. And I was like, man, if I don't think it's a team I can go to Super Bowl, I don't I'm good, man. Cause been getting sixteen thousand yards, man. They told me I won't be in the league three years, bro. You know what I'm that saying? That was after ten both uh ACL tears right. two times. Right. right. They told they told me San Fran like reach for me, bro. And that's third round pick. I'm like, yeah. Man. You know what I'm saying? And man, I'm blessed, man. I'm blessed. I'm, I'm blessed with my career, bro. I'm happy with it. Uh, if I don't go back and I don't play another down, though, I know I did it the right way. So that, cool. that's hey, that's what it sounds like. I want hey, I, you you mentioned like family is everything, bro. And like, um, you like you understand the grind. You are the epitome of the grind. And your son, he was in private school. And I read up on that. I made him get out of there, dude. Yeah, you yeah. said you made it. You pulled your son out of private school. Why did you pull him out, bro? Because you know, at the time, you know, they know his dad. He he was talented. Um, he don't he didn't know he didn't know I come home. You know, I come home like on a on a bye week. He didn't know I was down here. Mm-hmm. So I go. You know, he a freshman. So I go to the practice. I go to the practice. He's not there, but the coaches was okay with it, you know, just because he got some talent. He was freshman, and they looking okay. But me, I'm like, bro, I don't care, bro. Like, bro, I don't care what talent you got. You know, um, when you supposed to be someone, you you supposed to be there, man. And when I go up there, and he not there. He out with his friends, and the coaches are right. I say, nah, he got he got to get around guys like in, in public school, man, who he got to compete with. And make him a better player. You know what I'm saying? To make him, that's like that's like when like me, Portis, and hey, we know we couldn't play around in practice. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because y'all held each other accountable, huh? I I had to get him out of there, man. They was babying him too much, man. I didn't like it at all. What about how proud of you? Of, um, I don't know. I I I saw something the other day on on the tube, and I hit you, Mm. and I was like. Man, Frank son just threw two touchdown passes. <laughs> and he ain't even the damn the quarterback. quarterback right? <laughs> I'm like, man, what's going on, bro? Like, like, how does that make you feel? Oh, is that the is that the same son? The yeah, one, it's the same or one. The youngest? Same one. Now he's the oldest one. He's the oldest oh. one. The same one. So how did you feel about that, bro? Like to be able to see that comes back full circle. Man, I was I was very proud. I was a proud father, man. I was a proud father even seeing him. Getting a scholarship, bro, to go to play D1 ball, man. You know, especially in this generation, man. These kids out here crazy now, man. And uh, to see him go away, you know, I like I tell him, man, I, I took my hats off to you because I had opportunities to go away and I and I just couldn't do it. You know, our situation was different, though, because my mom was sick. You know, um, you know, I wanted to be close to stay home to her, but I still think if she wasn't sick, I probably couldn't go away. Um, 
you know, just I just see him like over the last two years, he just grown to a young man, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like we could talk, he, we could talk about anything, you know, and you know, he'd be 100 with me. And I'm happy, like, I'm happy he do be 100 with it because I tell him, like, listen, I done did all what you're trying to do, bro. Mm-hmm. So I'm not going to judge you when you're doing the right thing or you're doing the wrong. I'm going to be a father. I'm going to tell you when you're wrong. I'm going to tell you when you're right. So, um, you know, I've been proud of him. Like I told him, he just got to keep working, you know, on doing the right thing, on and off the field, respecting everybody in the building because it go, it take you a long way, man. And, you know, I just tell him to keep his head down and keep working, man. And enjoy, enjoy, enjoy what he doing now. Enjoy it. Don't look, don't look at, oh, I, I'm going to, don't look at that. You know what I'm saying? Enjoy yeah. what you're doing, you know, um, uh, right now. So I'm happy for him, man. I just, and I'm a proud father, Spike. Being in the moment is something something special. And the way I hear you talking now is like you appreciating the moment because you're appreciating everything that you've missed. So, like, what what is it for you when yeah, you real. actually see him do it? Do you ever think like, yo, Something in you is like, yeah, that's you know, that's my little jit right there. You know what I'm saying? That's how he, I used to be back in the day. And that, that does that bring that out of you too? I think he got it. I think it's harder for him. Mm. But I tell him like, he didn't have. I didn't. I wasn't a junior. He he don't have like. Oh, I gotta live up to my dad. Or you know, like I'm 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 when I'm playing for Miami. That's my first time I get to see him play. Mm. Bro, I'm standing on the sideline. Hey, Spike, I'm sure he's trying me. Oh, why are you gonna play this <laughs> <laughs> gonna kill you, you know what I'm saying? But wow. but he used to stand in the paint, man. Like he tough, bro. He t- he got it, bro. He just got to just stay focused, man. And like I gotta tell you, you got to stay focused and work, bro. You know what I'm saying? And you know how some people are. Uh, you just you getting this hype because your dad, but it's not that, man. He can play. Um, great kid, man. He's smart. You know, he you know in high school he was in gifted classes. I'm proud about that because I I struggled in school. You know what I'm saying? So. Man, I'm proud of him, man. I just want him to just stay humble, just keep working, enjoy, enjoy college, man. Yeah. Enjoy college. No doubt, no doubt. Nah, dog. I, I, I think it's pretty remarkable and admirable, dog, that you can be able to, you know, feed your son that 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 knowledge like that, and him being able to receive it. Because I always I already know him watching you, watching you play against other dudes in the league, even going against even though y'all are not on the field at the same time with running back, yeah. like like Adrian Peterson, prime mm-hmm. example. Mm-hmm. And when you look at AP, bro, like, do you think it was like a, a inside competition between you guys? Like, you don't say nothing, but you know, like, man, I got to keep Come running on. because I don't want him coming up behind <laughs> Come me. On, Spice, you already know. He's, he's number five. Well, he's number five on the list and you number three. You already know what's up, Spice, man. You know the game. You know how it is. We're competitive, man. You know what I'm saying? But, hey, like I told you, man, I'm blessed with my career. If, mm-hmm. Hey, if he he's still playing. If he get it, bro, I'm going to salute him, man. I respect that man, bro. He a baller. He yeah. did it. He, no, he, hey, when, when you play AP, you know you got to come bring it. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, if he, if he, if he, you know, go and take my spot, hey, I salute AP, man. I respect this game a whole lot. Yeah. No doubt. You can't deny that, baby. Yeah. Just the longevity, both you know both of I mean? you guys. You were coining that first, though. Hey, but Spice, man, hey, you know what's up, man. <laughs> yeah, hey. I already know what's up. But hey, Spice, you know how it is, man. But the NFL, man, they, you know, they how they pitch too, though, bro. You know yeah. what I'm saying? They, they, they how they pitch with who they want to hype up. Yeah, they do. You know what I'm saying, but I, I'm happy with like guys like you. You know what I'm saying? Who come up out the hey, bro? You the yeah. real? You know what I'm saying? Coaches. You know what I'm saying? I, I didn't need the hype because you know you know me, Spike. I'm, you know I like to chill. I'm coming to work, do my job. You know, do my you know. And then Sunday I'm a ball. I remember one time, bro. I, I forgot what game. I had a bad game, bro. I was oh man. You know I hate playing bad. Everybody hate playing bad. So me and right. Spice, me and Spice, we in the sauna, bro. You know what I'm saying? We probably we probably won. We you know it come from we probably went out that night or something. So we come back in the sauna. We in the sauna. I'm like. Hey, Spice, bro, we, we were playing – we had to play Arizona that next Monday night. I say, I say, Spice, hey, I owe y'all boys, man. Mm-hmm. Bro, I ain't, I played like shit. I owe y'all boys. But, you know, Spice respect me, so he was like, hey, everybody had them, had them days, man. Mm-hmm. man. That Monday night came, bro, I probably had like 170. Woo! So, killed them. I told Spice, I told you, bro. I think it – was it against the uh, the Rams? 
Yeah, I think the Rams. But no, it was Arizona. I had the big game Monday night, but I think Arizona. I played bad. I played bad against the Rams. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying, man. Like, as long as I get my respect from the guys, man, I'm okay, man. I totally get it. You don't want to see our faces right now because you know part two is coming. And trust me, when I say this, two, it's good. Damn good. Make sure y'all subscribe to the Behind the Mask podcast. Follow us everywhere on social media at the BTM podcast. Click the bell for notifications. Tell a friend to tell a friend. You know we're going to have more with Frank Gore part two coming up next week. And remember, on the Behind the Mask podcast, there's only one rule. There are no rules. Let's go. Cool.